Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this is a weekly update video regarding the current situation of UK. Basically, I will talk about two to three different things. First of all, when is the lockdown going to be ending? What are the new updates which have been given by the UK government? Then secondly, I want to talk about the new quarantine rules both in England and this time I also want to touch upon the quarantine rules in Scotland too because there was a lot of requests in the comments which I was looking uh, that you know please guide us for the quarantine rules in Scotland as well so I want to talk about them and thirdly I want to talk about the fines so I just want to make you aware that what all fines are getting introduced by the UK government because they are really massive amount and we have to make sure that we all abide to them so these are the three things which I want to talk in today's video so with this let's straight away get started so okay first of all let's talk about the end date for the lockdowns in all different four parts of the United Kingdom so first of all in terms of England they have to still make a decision on 22nd of February so still we are under lockdown in England and the decision will be coming on 22nd of February so next week I'll be updating you regarding the end date for England and secondly regarding Wales I think the lockdown is going to end on 19th February, so it is just coming. So they have said like my bit is going to again be extended, but 19th February is official date. Thirdly for Scotland, it is at least until beginning of March. This lockdown is until beginning of March. And, th and fourthly, about Northern Ireland. So they have said that the lockdown will be at least until 8th of March. So these are the four different days for four different regions regarding the end date for the lockdown. Now always the very first step in order to open the full lockdown. By full lockdown I mean like pubs are open, restaurants are open. The very first step is usually reopening the schools. So even similarly last year as well when I was under the lockdown, the full UK was under lockdown and they slowly started opening the things. The very first thing was the opening the schools. Then subsequently they opened the non essential shops and then pubs and restaurants and everything but even same in this time as well so all these four different parts the four different governments have have started planning to reopen the schools so for example for England and Scotland the schools are getting opened on 22nd of February no I think it's Wales and Scotland which are opening on 22nd of February then for England it's still 8th of March and similarly in the Northern Ireland the government has said that the schools will be closed at least until 8th of March so this is a still a good step that by March all the schools will be getting open all the small children will be start going back to the school and subsequently you can hypothesize or expect that the full lockdown by uh, that I mean that pubs restaurants will also be opening so this is a brief update regarding the current situation of UK regarding the lockdown rules well now moving to the next topic what are the quarantine rules in England and Scotland so first of all let me talk about England so for England it's same for the red list countries they have to quarantine in the hotel rooms for 10 days and 11 nights and similarly for the the people who are not in the red list countries they can like book a room or a house somewhere and they have to do the quarantine and they have to take the two tests on day two and on day eight of their quarantine period and one test before 72 hours before coming to UK so that's are the rules for England now talking about Scotland because there was a lot of requests in my comment section that please talk about the quarantine rules in Scotland so for Scotland the rules are a bit different so everyone who is going to Scotland except people from Northern Ireland Wales England rest all people all the international travel they all have to quarantine in a hotel room so you can't quarantine in a room or something like that the official guideline is that you have to quarantine in a hotel room for 10 days and 11 nights so that's the rule in Scotland and basically again you have to do your COVID test on day 2, day 8 of the quarantine and also 3 days prior before coming to your uh, Scotland. So these are the quarantine rules in Scotland. The other thing is, the helpful thing is maybe like people who are going to Scotland, they can book a hotel package. With the hotel package you will be getting food, hotel stay for some specific amount of price and with that also you will be getting the covid test as well because these two covid tests cost about 210 pounds or something like that and in this hotel package everything is included so so uh, what i'll be doing is maybe i'll be trying putting a link in the description below regarding that the official government website it will be taking to their official government portal and the government has put down the hotel full package details what all things are including what are the prices what are covid tests are included so please have a look on that so i'll be putting that in the description below just very briefly i want to also talk about the fines because there's a massive amount of fines which are being imposed by the uk government these days 
So the very first one is that please make sure you wear mask when you're going to the grocery stores or just in the public places. Make sure that you're wearing mask. But once you're going in like empty road, for example, I'm walking in, you don't need a mask. The other thing is that uh, people who are doing party, people who are like more than 15 people in the same house, if they're caught, they get a, uh, like a fine. The person who has organized that party, he gets a fine of about, he or she gets a fine of about 10,000 pounds. So that's a really, really massive amount. And people who will be caught in the party themselves, they will be paying 800 pounds as well. So that's really a big amount of money for the fines. So just be cautious about these things. Otherwise, all the religious places, uh, like essential shops, hospitals, everything is open. So you don't really have to worry about this. So I really hope that you find this video valuable. So I'm on the main road. So hopefully if you find it valuable, make sure to like it, comment your feedback, and subscribe the channel for everyone updates. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.